Hi, this is James Taylor again from Park Place Motor Cars of Rochester, Minnesota. Showing you on a 2012 BMW 5 Series how to operate the Steptronic shifting. The shifter is a little bit different in these cars, uh, but it's very effective. And once you know how to use it, it's very satisfying to use. So this is actually your shifter right here. It's kind of a pistol grip, and it has many different functions. Uh, it's very different in that on the top of the shifter there is a park button. One touch of that button will put you in park, obviously not while you're moving. It's smarter than that. Um, otherwise, when you want to put the car in drive, you grab the shifter, and there's a side button here. You're going to be pulling that in just like you would on a traditional shifter. So pull that in, then you're going to be pulling it towards you, and the light on the shifter is actually showing that you're in drive. Also, that's confirmed. Up here in the display by the rev counter, it shows D for drive. Sometimes people have trouble with these because getting it into reverse is very different than what they're used to. In this car, you do need to enable the button again and push forward. That puts the car in reverse. Also see that in this model it has a rear view camera. In the rare instance that you need to put the car into neutral, all you have to do is pull the shifter back without using the button and that puts you into neutral for coasting. Also, this vehicle has the ability to shift manually and it is an 8 speed automatic transmission. So again, depress the button, pull it back into drive and now when you move this whole stick over to the left that goes into manual sport mode. At the moment it's actually in an automatic sport setting. See up there it says DS what that does for you is it still gives you manual, I'm sorry, aut automatic uh, shifting, but it's going to give you a more sporty characteristic. Now what this setting does for you in Drive Sport is it retains the automatic shifting mode, but it does give you a more sporting characteristic to the transmission. It's actually going to use lower gears than normal to provide you with more response, uh, but the, the transmission still is in a fully automatic mode. As soon as you touch the shifter, and move it either forward or backwards, that now enters you into completely manual mode. See, now it says M1. And if I pull the stick back toward me, it says 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 8th, and then back to 1st. So now you have complete manual control of all 8 speeds of the transmission. It is a smart transmission, so if you do ask for a gear lower than is safe for the engine, it, it won't give it to you, and it does automatically downshift when you're coming to a stop. And then when you're done and need to park the car, all you need to do is touch the P button up on top and it magically parks the shifter. Now the car is in park and it's safe to turn it off. 